Hello everybody and welcome back into Green Hill. So it's the next morning and uh, we might as well check out and see what we've got to talk Mia, about. Mia, come in, please. Come in, please. Mia, come in, please. God damn it, don't leave me. Please come in. Mia, are you there? I will keep looking for you anyway. Help is on the way. Come in. Please, Mia. Mia, come in, please. Help is on the way. Come in. Mia, I have to tell you something. Please, come in. Mia? Are you there? I'll keep looking for you anyway. Oh well. Please, Mia, I need you. It says new dialogue unlocked, but there's nothing there, so... And anyway, the battery's nearly dead, so... No, nothing there. Alright, so... We've done everything we can here. So, time to move on. Yeah, keep saying new dialogue unlocked, but there's nothing showing. Alright, now. No. Right, that meat's still there, so I'm taking that that means that's probably not going to respawn in. I don't know. It probably will. Uh, let me just take one last look and make sure there's no other food things we can grab. I did grab one packet of uh, chips that was on the ground. Oh, I didn't take the painkillers because you never know. Right, so that was the manifest. Right, it's there. No more food. Oh, bit lag there. Played that one. Read that letter. And I think that had something already ate. Yeah, was there something else there? No. Okay. Right, so according to my Steam achievement list, I've only got five collectibles left to read. Now, I know we've still got another Ayahuasca journey to make. So... There's probably going to be a couple in there. I'm going to walk right. Just listening. Nope. Okay, just going to show you one quick thing that's over here, and then it will make a little bit more sense once we travel where we're going. So this is the end of the airstrip, by the way. It's got a fantastic view. Let's get over here and have a look. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And then just looking back up the airfield is actually a really nice view as well. That's great. Fantastic place to build. Even if you don't... Um, want to go to the hassle of bringing mud up there is a tricky way to you can, you can bring mud up uh, I have done it it's very time consuming and unless you're really really set on building with mud you can still build a really really massively sized single story base here of course because you can't walk on the leaf roofs anymore so you could have a double story, but you can't walk on the leaf roof, so it's a bit pointless. So, and let's just go up here, and I'll just show you this spot here, because you'll wonder... Right, so if you've got this, um, what looks just like a cliff le ledge here, 
However, if you build, not there, if you build two of these on top of each other with a ladder, you can actually access that spot up there. And that leads to a grappling hook gun spot on the other side, which is a location that you do need for your 60 map location achievement. So we will be going there to see it from the other side. Oh, or will we? Because actually I don't have the grappling hook gun yet, so... And I won't have that for a bit, so I can show you the spot though, because it will still mark on the map, we just won't be able to access it. But anyway, so time to leave. So come straight down the airfield, and you'll find this little path. And just stop. I'm not sure about the cat spawn rate. Uh, if it's and where it's a uh, rain. Oh, what <coughs> There you are. Where it's how far its range is, anyway. But not to worry. So and you just follow this path down here and the climbing equipment that we picked up at the airfield comes into use here. So now we've got a new map location. So it's here. This is for the climbing equipment. So this is one of the other things that was marked on that map before beforehand so let's just go forward and you can't carry anything in your hands coming up and down there so uh, yeah it's uh it was the closest spot for water and I was thinking maybe you could carry mud but of course you can't carry mud because you can't carry anything while you're going up and down the climbing spot so here we've got our diving equipment so let's, we've got a couple of things in the notebook to have a look at so I find Mia wait at the airstrip for help and so we'll have a, probably a couple more locations uh, the radio um, yep where is she? Yeah, everything does keep getting weirder. All the equipment, where did it come from? The map ends at this C note, but I must take a chance and dive. I have to find her. Yes, yeah, so are we here. And we're now going to jump in the water. And luckily it's daylight. Because this is very dark if you're doing it. It's very dark under here if you're doing it at night time. Well, makes sense I guess but follow the blue follow the blue uh, line and that breaks off here but keep going straight and then head off to the left and you'll find it again and then just keep following it See, this is why you need the diving equipment now, because this is a lot longer. And now we have a new map location again. It's actually quite deep. It's deeper than it looks. There we go. There we go. Make sure there's nothing on that side that's going to come from behind me and get me. Uh, okay. So we that's we just scoop it out. So that's this location here. Now we've got. Oh, sorry. We've got a couple of things here for your map locations. So we'll go and do those. Not essential for the storyline, but they are for the achievement. Now, I built here, I built here a while ago. we got to go down that way after, so let's not worry about that just now. 
Uh, yeah, I built here and every single bit of uh, bamboo here that you see, I used. There was not a single bit of bamboo left. This is before the regrowth came in. Uh, yeah, there was... It, so it's very dense uh, it, quite now, but uh, oh, yes, yeah, so much. Uh, oh, yeah, I could do with some of those. Is there an, oh, didn't spot that one. Yeah, so I kind of, I've actually got another map that I've, I've started a new map. Because uh, the maps that I had with my regrowth on them, uh, that they did, that had my maps on, that was before the regrowth, uh, most of them are bugged out now, and I can't use them properly anymore for building. So I've start, I've got a new map going where I can uh, build again with regrowth. So there we go. So this is a excellent, excellent place for getting iron ore. It spawns in here all the time. So that's this cave. A lot of people, I remember when the game first came out, no one came round here. They followed that path, which we, we do have to follow. They followed that path and they didn't come here. And so this was another place where that stumped some of the people trying to get the map location. But this is one of my favorite places in the map. My base was here. I knocked all this down and built my base here. Uh, I think that ant hill was on the other side of the base, so it didn't matter. Uh, it's a relatively large area. I did come across a couple of uh, building glitches though, which occurred when the multiplier came in and it caused a lot of problems with the building. Now this is safe water to swim in too. There's nothing here that can hurt you. Now you can either swim over here. You see that log there? And you can get up or you can walk around the side there, cross over that log onto that little island and then there's another log but I'm just going to swim because I can. Excellent place for fishing. Uh, yeah so my base was built right in there and because it is one of the most beautiful places on the map. And uh, yeah so you've got lots of bamboo on that side and then you've got regular trees on this side because there's not too many regular wood trees over that side. All right, so we're here. So yes, yeah, so if you came around on foot, you'd come over to this little island and then you'd cross over on there. So you've got, say, two ways. If you if you cut stuff down to carry, well, obviously you have to go that way. You just can't swim with logs in your hand. Now, I don't know if there are any cats up here because I played this build on survival mode so I have no recollection of all the old oh, blue mushrooms I haven't seen any of them for ages <coughs> nice this was always a good tree to come and get some from as well how are we going with our weight oh, I do have my pots uh, do I need any food while I'm just stopped here in a fairly... Can I can't get back up that way, can I? No, I think that was... Yeah, I know. Can I... No, I can't carry that. I'm going to need another one of them shortly-ish. I'll need to get rid of some food, I think. Alright. Okay. Let's grab some of this. What else do I need? A bit of that, bit of that. Do I need that many calves? No. I've really not eaten those. That one's a good one. And then we'll just litter in the jungle. Is it raining? I 
while I can still get water from my pots, I'm going to. I don't, I don't want to have to drink out of here until the dry season's really set in. Sound isn't great here, so I can't tell if there's anything moving. Oh, no, you idiot. That was stupid. Oh. Oh, at least they were right there. I know I don't need to do that, it just makes me feel better in my head. No, no more rain. Okay. I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. Where is it? Oh shit. Where? Oh Christ. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> he just kind of looked at me and stopped. And I was like, where are you? Oh God, these pumas, they blend in so well. I'm not, I'm not gonna harvest him up because I don't want to get dirty. Yeah, the bloody pumas, I tell you, you can't see them. And yet it's weird because the the jaguars with their spots, <clears throat> that's what the spots are designed for. But, uh, oh, the pumas. Wow. Yeah, it was weird. He kind of just, oh, there's a person, I'm going to stop. Yeah, that was funny. I've not been... I have not been spotting the cats well at all, have I? It's been really bad. Well, at least I've not been stressing about it. Okay, so we've got another <gasps> grapple gun spot. Oh, I can't climb. Oh, it's not. A... It's got a. It's got a grapple gun picture, but it actually only uses the grappling hook. The guns that the gun and the hook have actually got two different pictures. So this comes out here, and there's the airfield. So if you build the the two-story uh, frames with ladders, yeah, you can go. I had one built on my survival one because uh, there's occasionally I'd need to come over here and grab some stuff. Uh, so yes, that's something you can do. If I'd realised that, I'd say, um, you look at the map. See, that shows you a grappling gun hook. This shows you the grappling hook. The same as this grappling hook and this grappling hook and this grappling hook. However, these are mixed up. This should be the grappling hook and this should be the grappling gun because you cannot get up there. We had the grappling hook on us and we couldn't get up there. So those are actually wrongly marked uh, icons. Because this is you, the grappling gun is for really high places, which this is. So technically the hook shouldn't work here, but it does. So. So there, that's another reason why you have to come into this little area because you need to mark these two off for your achievement. There's nothing else story-wise though, unfortunately. It is a little bit of a waste of time in that manner, but if you're needing your achievements, yeah, you have to come. I see that snake over there, but we're not going close. So yeah, it's a... Uh, Uh, essential for achievements but not for story so you've got that option now if you're not going for achievements don't worry about it 
I mean, sorry, if you are going achievements, do come here. If you only want the story, you can skip it. I mean, if you're purely and simply playing the game to get through the story as quick as possible, yeah, don't come here because it's not needed. But, but let me go down here. Oh, I've walked this map way so many times when I was building. This was a really fun build until I came across the glitches where when I came to build my second story, it wouldn't let me put a lot of the frames in, even though there was nothing in the way. So uh, that was a, yeah, kind of a, a disappointment as far as this build was because it was a huge had a huge area. But uh, it's a it's a gorgeous spot to to build for sure. You look out, you get up every morning and you have your bed and it looks out over here. It's fantastic. But there are poison dart fox here though, so you've got to be aware of that. Now what is the time? It's getting a bit late and I'm getting very thirsty. I might, um, yeah, I'm just going to risk it. That's alright, I had the blue mushrooms on me. Anyway, right, so we head back this way and we'll... Saw that before I heard it for a change. So we'll head back through here to the path where that we saw when we came out of the water. You know, the other thing you notice between Spirits of Amazonia and here is the lack of um, tribal people anywhere, of course, because they've wiped out. So, all right, so there's the water we came out. So we go this way. I'll follow the path. Alright, just making sure that wasn't a snake. And you can see that you're going in the right way because you find some man-made man -made things along the way. So you know you're going in the right direction. Really pretty here too. With the waterfalls, look at them all. Awesome. little bit tricky here just make sure you don't hurt yourself too much there we go all right so we're at another climbing spot now so let's get onto here that just takes you over there for a little view nothing nothing else it's just actually just um uh support for this really down we go that's also a cool, sh a cool shot uh, right where are we this way now we're now leaving this, this map behind as well So, we will uncover, right, we're still, you see all this part of the map here, we're actually going to find things on this map, but it doesn't mark off on this map. You have to get the next map, which is weird, I forget. Um, so, it's getting dark, so we're going to have to make a place to sleep. Now, we're in a whole load of swampy area now so something you've got to watch out for now is caimans so i will oh i haven't seen one of these for ages i'm blue mushrooms too oh my goodness well this is a nice spot right well i'm going to build a sleeping spot here oh 
goodness, look at all these. This is a pile of goodies. Um, as far back from the water as I can. Let's see if I can build one here, actually. Yeah, so I'm going to stop here. I don't want to build over on that flat park because it's a bit too close to the water. Just, you know, Cayman-wise and stuff. So anyway, we'll stop here. Um, nothing story-wise. Well, yes, this, these things here are related to the story of having to travel down to this part of the map. Otherwise, it was just the achievements, really, today. Achievement locations. But we are progressing in the story, and this is the last section... We'll get one more map, but this is the last map that we'll be getting into now. Still a few more things to see, a few more locations to find, but uh, yep, this is the last section of the map. So, uh, next week actually, I think we might finish the story next week. Uh, yep, so it's Friday for me, so I'll be off for the next couple of days. Uh, weekend, got some stuff to do around the house anyway. So, uh, thank you all for joining me. And I'll catch you all again soon, which will probably be for the last last part of the story. So, see you later. Bye.